There are a billion knowledge workers out there. And there's a $53 billion productivity software market meant to help them. And why are we in the midst of this great resignation? And why are so many people stressed, burnt out, and barely holding it together? Well, here's one of those people. Meet Katie. She's a married millennial mom with young children. She works from home and is a founder of an early stage startup. But she constantly feels the pressure from culture to have everything under control. But she doesn't. And a lot of us don't either. Her day consists of frantically running to drop her for kids at school, hurrying for meetings, trying to respond to tons of Slack, email, text messages, and then her kids are getting back home after soccer practice asking what's for dinner. At the end of the day, she is exhausted. Too tired to fully engage with her family or explore other ideas that she may have, like writing a children's book. The problem Katie faces every day is twofold. Her tasks are all over the place, making it hard for her to see what she even wants to do. And then when she can remember a task, she still needs help to do it, but doesn't know who to turn to, making her feel isolated and alone. Meet Bosa. We're here to help Katie and the billion other people out there who are barely holding it together. With Bosa, Katie can easily collect her tasks from where they're created, like text messages and email, and put them into one place. Other apps make Katie manually aggregate her task, but Bosa automates this process by integrating into the tools that Katie already uses, making her feel less overwhelmed. But Bosa doesn't stop there. The intelligence of the Bosa framework connects Katie to the right people to help her with each task. And that's what makes Bosa so different. So, for example, Bosa suggests that Katie ask her husband, Mike, to schedule their kid's doctor's appointment that she's been putting off for about two weeks. Bosa also prompts Katie to reach out to her team to share and collaborate on a few marketing tasks that she actually needs to get done by tomorrow. Bosa then encourages Katie to reach out to the broader Bosa community to learn the best way to write that children's book that she's wanted to write for three years. This healthy and robust Bosa community attracts users, creating a stickiness to the product, creating a network effect. And over time, that increases engagement and retention. And connecting Katie to this Bosa community makes her feel supported and empowered to go after her ideas, dreams, and aspirations so that she can change the world. Our go-to-market strategy is to start by building BOSA for the 13 million millennial moms who are just like Katie. And out of those 1 billion knowledge workers, millennial moms are overlooked by the productivity software market despite their influence. But this gap in the market is our entry point. Moms like Katie spend 20 hours a week to share and spread the word about new products that help them be better professionals, parents, just people. Targeting this overlooked market allows us to go from pre-revenue to post-revenue in the next 12 to 18 months while creating a simple and repeatable growth loop. This allows us to scale from Katie to 13 million millennial moms, to the 1 billion knowledge workers, and the $53 billion productivity software market. As BOSA, or this allows us to have a line of sight to profitable growth over the next three to four years. And we'll start with monthly subscriptions. And as BOSA scales, we'll build out our IP to create a unique customer experience and expand our growth via third-party integrations and partnerships, data monetization, and a B2B offering. So just like the billion knowledge workers that are out there, and likely a lot of you, my co-founder EJ and I experienced burnout. 
But with our backgrounds leading operations and product and our unique market insights, we're the team to redefine productivity. We built Bosa in-house and developed a high-touch onboarding process that allowed us to onboard 40 early users. And we learned how to quickly take users from onboarding to impact. And that millennial moms like Katie are our ideal early users. And that community, like all of you, is our differentiator. We previously raised $179,000 from Backstage Capital, behind Genius Ventures, 11 tribes, and a few angel investors. Now, we're raising $300,000 to quickly speed up product development, establish our brand so that we can quickly capture this initial audience. So, if you're an investor and love what we're doing and passionate about helping people become productive without sacrificing their well-being, we'd love to chat with you. You can reach out to me at Anastasia at bosa.life. And if you aren't an investor, but love what we're building, please sign up at bosa.life. Let's redefine productivity together. <laughs>